guys, it's Brooke with The Junk Parlor hopping on here for my weekly Sunday live sale. Um, while I was waiting, we were just watching America's Funniest Home Videos and I don't know about you, but every time my husband and I watch that, the whole time we're just thinking, oh, that would really hurt or oh, they could have killed themselves because it's not even really necessarily funny things sometimes. It just looks so painful. So. America's Funniest Home Videos has been around forever, so obviously somebody likes it, but it looks very painful and dangerous. Um, this week, I will be having my lunch break sale on Tuesday, um, so Tuesday at noon if you want to see um, some more goodies that are up for grabs, and then if you're watching this on the replay, if you want to just head over to Stories, when we get done with the live, I go over and I put um, the items that are left in stories so you can just flip through those really quick. Um, and then later in the week I will do still photos for those of you who would rather look at still photos versus a video. Um, so how it works is I'll hold up an item, I'll um, maybe give you some ideas on how you can decorate with it or use it in your home, tell you a price, and then whoever shows up first on my phone um, will be the person that gets it. And um, I do the best that I can to just read through and see who gets it first. I don't really care who gets it, I just want it sold. So if, if I call somebody else's name, just know that you always show up first on your own phone. Otherwise, I don't know, it's internet internet land on how that's going to work. Um, and then I will invoice you tonight for the item and then we do combined shipping on Friday. So Friday morning, you'll get an invoice um, for your shipping price. And then once that gets paid, your items will get shipped out to you. So um, also I am selling the mystery junk box until the 7th or through the 7th. Um, and that's something that I sell the first week of each month and we actually have the website set up where you can go ahead and order it anytime but just know that it doesn't like process until um, the first of the month so i found some more piano rolls so we've got five of them a couple of them do have lids on the boxes and then the rest of them don't um the only one that has a name here close that i just saw was aloha oe um something with a ukulele and a mandolin and then we've got the foxtrot here um have a smile so these rolls, I've seen people stencil on them. I have hung them on the wall at the shop. Um, you can use them in uh, a tablescape, kind of like a, a table runner or in any of your display, or you can just crumple up the paper and stuff it in things. Um, so you're getting five piano rolls for $10. So five piano rolls, $10. So if you want that, you're just going to comment sold and piano rolls. Okay, then we've got some bells. Um, they're just bundled into a grouping of four. I have just tied them up with twine because they are all um, just from different strands or whatever. And they make an awesome sound. So you could put these on your door, on a wreath. Um, just hang them or put them in a bowl and it's $30 for the full four jingle bells. Okay, then we've got some big hardware and I do have um, four of these left. I only grabbed two of them, but these would be great to put on maybe a handmade barn door that you're wanting to look old. Um, you could hang these on the wall just as in your gallery wall. You could add them to literally anything just to add some embellishment. And it's $40 for the pair of Farm Fresh Rusty Krusty. They've got a little bit of black um, on the back of them. So if we go all the way for just the decorative part, you're looking at about two or two, 23 and um, three quarters inches long. So just from here to the end is almost 24 inches. So $40 on 
the huge hinges. Okay, then I've got some more tea towels. And these are all just random and they are all um, have stains on them. I'm not saying that you can't get them out. I didn't even try to get them out. So you've got a kitty here that says Tuesday. You've got a kitty that's sprinkling her flowers for Wednesday. You've got a hanging pot for Thursday. And we've got a lady at the market for Friday. So lady at the market Friday, this one probably has the most um, staining discoloration on it. And the potted plant one is probably the, where'd it go? <laughs> probably the best one. So you're getting Friday lady, Thursday pot plant, Wednesday cat, and t Tuesday cat. So four of them for $20. So $20 on our flower sack tea towels. Okay. Where am I located? I'm located in Centerville, Iowa. And so all of these items are available for shipping. And then you can also do local pickup as well. So Lisa's got the piano rolls. Susan, you're next. I might have five more, Susan. I'll send you a picture. Myra, you want those bells too? Okay. And Lisa wants the big um, hinges. Next up, this High Cowboy book. It doesn't have the cover, obviously, but it has super cute graphics. It was copyright 1950. This page has been folded. I've been laying something heavy on it this afternoon, trying to, to get it to flatten out a little bit, but just some cute images in here of the little cowboy. So I could totally see taking and doing something with the images. You could um, separate them out, decoupage them on something, frame them on something, put them all on a clip on different clipboards and hang them in a kid's room. Um, just something very cute or something in a scrapbook I could see too. Five dollars on high cowboy. Then another book, um, I don't think this ever had a cover, um, but I don't really know because there's no name, there's no copyright. It's almost like a educational uh, sheet and it's just got um, different things about baby. And so again, I would totally just separate this out and use the artwork in different displays, whether it's framed or something more temporary. Probably this picture and the front picture are my favorites. So $10 on our little, um, let's just call it a yellow book. $10 on the yellow book. Okay, then I've got some more lace. Um, this is no idea how long it is five dollars so lace bundle number one is five dollars you can see that there's quite a bit of it you could use this and hang it from like an embroidery hoop and make your own um dream catcher you could just unravel this and shove it in things as filler instead of greenery um, you could use it to sew onto something so five dollars on bundle number one and then bundle number two for the lace is also five dollars and lace bundle number two looks like this so you've got a lot of that too that you could repurpose or just use it as is in your home decor that would be something fun also for your easter baskets for your filler you could do something like that as well Okay, Myra, yes on the on the bells. Okay, Phyllis wants lace bundle number two. Then we've got the Shed's peanut butter. I had never even heard of Shed's peanut butter. Don't know if you guys have or not. Uh, refrigerator jar, easy to spread, and it's got, I don't even know, They are they elves on there? Um, but the jar's pretty clean. It looks like a anchor hawking because of the emblem there on the bottom. And it's $8 on our peanut butter jar. 
Okay, then something that would be fun as a planter, there is some kind of um, logo down here, but I can't read it. You can, and this is farm fresh, baby, but you can take the toaster and um, I would probably not have it all the way open. I would probably wire these slots so that it was just partially open and then I would plant in it. So you could put this on your windowsill in the kitchen as a tablescape, um, countertop decor, stick some plants in here. You can like um, make a pot or whatever with some moss or some of that uh, filler for your planter baskets and then plant in it. So $10 on our little toaster. You could use it like this. You could also magnet stuff to it. $10 on the toaster. Okay, then we've got another piece. So this is a heavy duty metal. Um, the spout on it looks to be a different kind of metal as well as parts of the handle. Um, again, I would just repurpose this and put a plant in it or hang it on your porch with a plant in it. I've also seen beads um, down the spout just as like a sun catcher. $5 on our little silver pot that does not have a lid. Okay, then this is um, for film, um, a dark room film hanger. It's awesome because it's pink. You could hang this and you could have some dried plants from it. Um, you could put it um, underneath a light in your dining room table and hang some sheets of moss. Um, any little springy things, you could do your tea towels and hang all your little tea towels from it, handkerchiefs, do some kind of display. So on this uh, dark room light hanger, um, it has some kind of writing on it, but I don't know, if, I think it just says patent pending. $15 on our little hanger. Makes me think of a baby mobile and all of this is movable too, flexible. So $15 on that. Then we've got a green tin. You guys know how much I love the green color. Um, and you could just stick a plant in this. You could use it to hold wooden spoons, um, silverware, any little thing. $15 on our green tin. All right. Bella's got the peanut butter jar, Shelly's got the toaster, Olga's got the pink hanger. $5 on the silver pitcher, Shelly. Thanks, Nicole, for helping on that, and Charlotte. Okay, Shirley wants the silver pitcher, Jamie wants the green tin. Shelly, you're second on the green tin, or on the silver pitcher. Okay, another tin, we've got Coffee de Monte or Monde, original French market coffee stand, coffee and chicory. So yellow, for those of you who like yellow or have awesome tins at your coffee station, this one still has the top on it, but I personally would probably just take the top off unless you wanted that so you could stack another smaller coffee tin on top of it. But the inside's in great condition. You could put your Keurig cups in there, your little sweetener packets. Um, so you could make it functional also. So $15 on our yellow coffee tin. Okay, perfect thing for spring. You could put this outside by your door and have plants coming out the top and out of the bottom. It has been sealed. It is farmer repaired with a license plate um, here attached to the bottom. It, uh, could be used in the house. I did seal the outside of it, although you can see the um, feeder part has rusted through, hence our uh, license plate repairs. But there are little hanging brackets here. So you could put it in the house and put some silk flowers in it. Um, you could have your tea towels spilling over. You could have any kind of collection that there down at the bottom. And this is $25, so $25 on our double feeder. Okay, then everyone always wonders what a flower frog is. 
and this is what it would have been used for. You would st um, put your stems in there and that would keep the flower separated. Now a lot of times at the florist shop, they'll just put clear tape there to keep them separated. Certain uh, flowers um, or vases need that. So to repurpose this, you could shove scissors in there, pins in there, um, you could just have it like this. You could do some faux flowers, anything that would fit into that compartment. And then you could put a whole bunch of them in there. So $15 on our metal flower frog. And then we have, I, I said, what did I say? I think one time I said um, hobnob instead of hobnail. So just know as I'm talking, hopefully you can figure out what I mean sometimes. So this vase is just a white um, hobnail. Now I'm going to have to think about it every single time that I talk about it. It is not marked, um, but wooden spoons would look good in here. Something that is a color contrast would be good. Um, it is $15. And I have some uh, ostrich feathers. So you could put something like this in it. That's going to be definitely a different color. So contrast is going to be good. So $15 on the hob nail um, vase. Okay, on these ostrich feathers, um, they have been um, clipped short, so there is not a whole lot of stem, um, but you can put these in a vase. This one is actually broken. This one is complete. It's just droopier. And then this uh, third one is complete. So $15 on our ostrich feathers. So three good ones and one broken. Okay, then we have this little Jeep for 30. Super cute, perfect color for Brooke Johnson. I love it. Um, you can totally put some succulents here in the back, or really easy, and put this on your table or in your windowsill. There is cracking in the plastic, and you can see that it started to pull apart here. I mean, it's solid. And then I think someone has repaired it because, um, this this set of tires says Tonka and this says Buddy L. And really it's a Tonka. That would have been a Tonka sticker um, on the back. So $30 on our green Jeep. Okay, then we have a whole bunch of cork bobbers. This one is probably the biggest. This one is a unique shape. And then there's no way I'm gonna be able to hold them all up here. So most of them are going to be this size. A lot of them have these sticks in there. I don't really know why, um, but a lot of them, when I have found them come like that, I like to just throw them in a clear candy uh, jar and um, put them on display like that. I love natural elements. You could also um, just throw them in a bowl. Um, so these are all of my large uh, floats. And so there's nine of them and it's $45 for all of these uh, cork floats, $45. Okay, then we have this twig basket and it would look great as a centerpiece. Put some of that green fray yarn that I'm always sharing in here with your bunny and your eggs or a birdhouse um, and do a whole little spring decor with it. It's also nice kind of like as a tray so you can carry stuff um, to different places. So even on your coffee table. And this is $20. So $20 on our twig basket. Okay, then we have this metal wire urn shaped planter. Um, it's farm fresh. I haven't uh, sealed it or anything, but I would just spray it with a clear coat if I was going to use it in my house. 
which again, you could put this on your kitchen counter with some kitchen utensils in it, wooden things is more like I would see. Um, you could put it in your table as a centerpiece. Um, you could line it with some moss and um, do a whole spring look. Give you a little up close view. So $30 on our metal urn planter. All right, let's get caught up here. Um, Melissa want, or Melinda wants lace bundle number one. Um, you like the New Orleans coffee? Is that, are you saying you want it, Ronell, or you just like it? So Phyllis, you might be first or second. Ronell, flower frog. Catherine, you're next on the flower frog. Olga wants the green Jeep. Okay, then we're gonna do a bundle of books. If the bundle doesn't sell first, then I'll sell them separately. Um, Tom Brown School Days. We've got High Winds and Getting the Most Out of Life. So these are all a good um, color bundle. $15 on this bundle of books. $15. Okay, then we've got an old hook. Um, I've shared lots of hooks before because I have a ton. Um, you can put your toilet paper roll on here. You can hang your dish towel on here, some kind of hand towel. Um, you can hang anything from it, a picture, a cutting board that has a handle on it, pots and pans. Um, a basket, literally anything. So it's a neat way to just hang something. $10 on our hay hook. Okay, then we've got a little um, silver uh, sugar. It would be cute just taking the lid off of it and putting a plant in it. Um, this one is Rogers and Brothers, and it's $15. So $15 on our little sugar. Okay, then I have one green cut, uh, I don't know if it's depression glass, little um, bowl. $6 on this. Put it by your entryway and put your keys in it, your change from the day, your earrings in the bathroom. You could even put a bar of soap in that. $6 on the little green bowl. Then I have a few more of the cones. There are eight in here. So $8 on these cream separator cones. And just in case this is the first time watching, you could um, set these every every wherever you wanted and do um, cue balls, um, croquet balls, um, Easter eggs, anything like that because it will hold up those round things. So $8 on our cone um, separator things. Okay, just like the other coffee can. Phyllis wants the hook. Um, sandwich glass. All right, Tracy, thank you for that. Phyllis wants the green bowl. Tracy wants the cones. Okay, then we have a beautiful um, book. It has um, a cloth or leather um, coating on it. The, the spine has been taped. It's $15. And I can hardly read in the camera, but Christian Palmist, it's something with a um, collection of tunes and hymns. And it is just really neat and different. The music just is set up differently than a normal hymn book. So $15 on our book of tunes and hymns. All right, then we have this enamel pan. It's got really cute little handles here, so you could hang it on the wall very easily with a nail. 
Um, you could have this be a centerpiece, put it on the back of your um, uh, counter where your backsplash would be. If you wanted to have it setting out, then you could just use like a command strip or something to hang it. Um, and you can always set little things on the inside and use a magnet on it as well. So $10 on our enamel pan. Okay, then we've got a drawer front as I about fall over and somebody has painted blue on the poles at some point and it is definitely a, a recessed panel here for the drawer. It's $20. So you could definitely hang this. You could put a, a stain with your Cricut on here. Um, you could hang your towels from the knobs. You could hang other pictures from the knobs like you do um, have the twine hanging on it and then to a picture or you could just hang it like that. So $20 on our drawer front. All right, I never have, I have an endless supply of pig cutting boards. So this one has been pretty um, dinged up, but you could definitely add some hemp oil or even just vegetable oil to it. And I'm guessing that would disguise some of those scratches or that's why you like it because it has scratches and has some character on it. So $20 on our pig cutting board. Okay, then we've got another cutting board. This one would be great on a table or on your countertop because it's so long and skinny. Um, I have one with three jars on it on my countertop. Um, layering just really makes things uh, look more professionally uh, decorated. So anytime you can add layers. So put this in the center of your table and then put your display on top of that. It's gonna make your display um, stand out even more. You could also totally turn this into a sign um, and you don't have to hang it vertically if you didn't want to. You could always hang it um, sideways as well. So $20 on this uh, cutting board. Okay, we've got Wonders of the World, this little guidebook, so you can always daydream about when we can travel again. It is $5. Has Wisconsin in there, Whitman Publishing Company, copyright 1938. So, $5 on our little Wonders of the World. Then we've got this enamel cup. It's white with the blue trim. It's $5. If you have one of those bottle holders, you can put your coffee mugs on it. So this would be a fun one to do that with. Um, you could put this in your laundry room with your dryer sheets um, curved, curled in there as well. Okay, then we've got a set of three copper I don't know if they're like saute pans. You could hang these on the wall, um, like in between a door and a, a short section of, a narrow section of um, wall. I could see it looking good. Or you could separate them out and put them in different places in your house. It's Farouk Kutzal Kutz Made in Turkey is the stamp on the bottom. So you're getting the three copper pots, pans, not pots, pans for $25. $25 on our copper set. Okay, then you're getting three um, jars. So this one is an Atlas Easy Seal. This one is a Ball Ideal. And the lid on this one, the metal is not holding it on um, tight all the way. And then you've got an Atlas Easy Seal. Is that the same one? Nope. So you've got two Atlas Easy Seals and the ball jar. So $15 on the three um, clear jars with glass lids. Okay, 
Okay, I grabbed another um, silver casserole. This one's 15. It's more um, rectangular, but again, it's great for um, adding height. So you could put this in your china hutch, have some small um, pieces laying or setting in front of it, and then put up some um, other pieces on the back so it, it will give you um, height variance so you can actually see what's in the back. Or you can use it to put stuff in. So you could keep these separate and have a collection of your cork uh, floats or whatever you have and keep these separated with homes for both things. So $15 on our casserole. Okay, then we've got this egg basket. It is one of them that has the plastic coating on it. I have clear coated it. There is um, a break right there. Other than that, I think that it's in good condition. It does have the little uh, feet on it and it is $30. So $30 on our orange egg basket. Okay, then another perfect thing to plant in. It is missing the car part here, the windshield part, but I think that that even makes it better because then you can put plants right in there and it's gonna look super cute. So you've got the Structo dumper and you can put plants in the back as well. So just a great color, my favorite. And it is $40, so $40 on our Structo um, dump truck. Okay, then we've got this uh, set of seasonings. And they all still have their images on them. You can also easily hang them because there's some little hanging tabs or you can set it on the counter as well. But $36 for our um, seasoning set, $36. Okay, then this would be a great repurpose. You could use it as a curtain you could, um, I know a lot of people will cover up underneath their sink, like with a tension rod. Um, I've even seen people do their washer and dryer, their dishwashers, the whole bits. So you've got this coffee um, from Costa Rica. You could put it by your coffee bar. So if you cut it up, you could use two sides if you were going to repurpose it. And you could also stuff it and make a ginormous pillow. You could cut it up and recover a seat with it. So lots of options on this. And it is $20 for our coffee bag. Okay, then we've got a couple of croquet game uh, sticks. I love sticking these in vases. So like that um, hobnail vase. I would just shove a bunch of these in there, um, add some great color and it's fun. You could also just tack them to the wall and do them in your, um, on your photo gallery. And $12 for the pair of croquet sticks. Okay, better get caught up here. Okay, so Phyllis got the green bowl, Tracy got the cones, um, Julie wants the enamel pan, Tracy you're next on the enamel pan, and then we've got a few more people on the enamel pan. Uh, Susan wants the long cutting board, Julie wants the enamel cup, Jerry you're second on the cup, um, Tracy wants the copper pans, Shelly you're second on the pans, Shirley wants the jars. Okay, then we have a chamber pot. Um, which it doesn't bother me at all that it's a chamber pot. And actually there's a girl I follow on Instagram and she has these all on like um, uh, pot hooks hanging from underneath her counter. And she has like three of them and she actually uses them as her mixing bowls. And so not only is it beautifully displayed, but she uses them functionally as well. 
I normally stick plants in them or some collection of stuff. Nothing as neat as what she is doing. So there's the stamp and it's $30. So $30 on our Ironstone Chamber Pot. Okay, then we have a paper towel holder. It is in some awesome old turquoise paint. And I've got $5 on it. It's an Acme. So you could totally use that and put it um, in your kitchen, in your bathroom. I also just like setting it places um, because of the color. So I just work it into my display. So $5 on the paper towel holder. Okay, another bundle of books. We've got elementary psychology and hygiene. We've got vital English. And then Father Smith Instructs Jackson, and this is a soft paperback. But again, they look great as a bundle. They're kind of all the school theme. So $15 on our school theme bundle. Okay, then we've got an ironstone platter. This one is made in China, so possibly porcelain. Just a nice oval platter. $15, $15 on our platter. Okay, then we've got a premium saltine tin. Again, I love the coloring of the saltine uh, cracker box. You could take the lid off and use it to store stuff in it. Um, you could just set it out on the shelf, on your fridge. It's $20, $20 on our saltine tin. Okay, then I've got two um, things of string. So these a lot of times I will use as um, my the string for price tags, but then I also have a whole bunch of them thrown into a scale basket. Um, just because it, I like the texture and the coloring. So $20 on the string. Then we've got two blue bottles. One has a cork in it, one doesn't. The neck on this one is neat. It's different than um, a lot of them that I have. And there's some numbers on the bottom of the one with the neat neck and nothing on the one with the cork. So $10 on our pair of blue bottles. Okay, then I've got this enamel um, medical piece. I want to say that no one is going to enjoy what this piece is. Um, it will hang on the wall, so I totally would forget its intended use and have plants or greenery coming out of it. So $30 on our enamel piece. And then we've got this big, um, what do you call it? Um, carrier for probably milk bottles. It is pretty wide between the slots and it's just two big sections. So it's not all divided into six compartments. It is, Something Michigan, Kalanico, uh, I can't tell. You probably can't either. And then this backside says something else, J something company, Burgesses. So $65 on our bottle carrier. So these are just small jars, but you can see in proportion, they're pretty small. So you're gonna want something a little bit larger to put in here. And one thing with it that's nice about it not having the compartments is then you can do plates and stuff and have them standing up in there because it's not pre-divided. So $65 on the bottle carrier. All right, guys, that's all that I have for today. Let me get caught up here. Shirley had the jars, then we go to Jerry Chamber Pot. 
Susan paper towel holder, Ronelle the saltine, Julie the blue bottles. So thanks guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Have a good week and I will see you on Tuesday.